<laughs> right. Hi, and welcome to another TFF panel show. And this is week four, and we have Hammer, we have Richie, and we have Johnny, the new Colchester boss. Evening, gentlemen. Hello, uh, no, mate. Hammer, are you okay? Oh, I'm not too bad, old Rob. How are we doing there, son? Very good. And this is your first appearance on the panel show. So, right, we're going to go straight to it. Johnny, you replaced me as Colchester. How's it going for you in TFF? Uh, well, I've made a... It was a slow start, but I... Well, it's big boots to fill, wasn't it? It was your shoes. So I've got to make sure I do a good job. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm saying at the minute. Um, <laughs> no, I'll make it that. <laughs> No, it was it was all a bit whirlwind, and I just came in and took over, and I can't, I haven't exactly put my own stamp on the team, as it were, but I just Don't came in, to. take stock. Don't need to. It's all done for you. Don't you worry about that. Um, took stock of, took stock but, of but, what? But Johnny, can can I ask you a question, Johnny? Yeah. Last the last thing that you could have got um, commentary. <laughs> you weren't you weren't so keen on them. I just beat them. I don't want them. <laughs> Is there a reason why you weren't so keen on them? <laughs> uh, Poor old Johnny. <laughs> just bands, isn't it? My best mate from school was a Coventry fan. <laughs> there you go. So that's nothing um, personal, Dom. Johnny, just say it. They're shit. They're <laughs> shit. Just say it. Just come out and say it. Don't well, they are. Cunt. They're shit. I, they are. My team beat them a couple of years ago in the FA Cup. <laughs> um, Johnny, one thing. Where are you actually right now? I'm outside Worcester Library. You're outside Worcester Library. Worcester Library. <laughs> yes, that's, my that's team, a first. He's show. using the free Wi-Fi. He's using the free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi team. You don't know about that. That's I'm not, I'm not even for this. Right. So, Johnny, <laughs> you say you've made a slow start. I've noticed you've won four of the last six. You, you've no, no, no. I, I, I won, I, what I did, I won one, drew one, lost one. Yeah. We sort of work out my team a bit, mm. and now I'm on a bit of a roll now, aren't I? So. It's yeah, you're in the playoffs now. Yeah. I'm saying so there's something three times in a row now. But um it's interesting it's your last panel you were on about twenty percent or Hang on mate, we've got some interference. <laughs> Who's got uh, their sound on in the background? I have it. Hammer <laughs> listening to his Hammer, you got something on in the background? <laughs> Something's repeating, echoing. I don't know what it is. Try again, Johnny. Uh what was I gonna say? Yeah, no, you're on last week panel show talking about division three yeah and you said about the yeah. um the budget for each team and how in terms of the pecking order of each one and i was a bit surprised that colchester were top six in there so I'm yeah. pretty much so i'm basically around the level where i was in that pecking order as it were now no, I think it, no because what what i don't know if people know this or not but i did increase the squad value a fair bit of colchester but that won't particularly help you in Division Three, because no. I didn't go for no. high old rate ratings. So in terms yeah, of yeah. you've got a couple of players now in the next couple of days that are going to go up. That um, that Tiche player, Tiche Tiche, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. He's going to go up, and then you've got that that Gabriel, the defensive midfielder for Corinthians, who've just won the league. He, yeah. He's going to go up. They're probably only going to get an ad one. They might get an ad two. Going by how the Brazilian review's <laughs> gone so far, either way, the, you're going to double your money on them. So, You've got a right. solid team, Johnny, but it, it's yeah. not one of the best teams. No way. <laughs> but the game last week at Coventry, uh, it was like Latouche left his mark on that because he, he must have gone in the dressing room before the game and told him all oh, he lads, go and clog his fullbacks. Both of them out, wiped. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, I'm glad you said fullbacks because you had a cheeky go at me and said I didn't buy any left backs. There's <laughs> actual recognised left back in there. Well, you've got two players that can play in that position, so I didn't get the point. Yeah, true, 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 true. He, he's got high standards, though. Uh, he's got st high standards, Rob. He's got high standards. Oh, I see. That's what you've got to understand. Nice. He's not you're usually your management, your average management. Oh, he's on quite a bit, isn't it? No, he's not really. He's nice. Right, there is there definitely, are, there's... lads, there is a third party interference. And I'm not sure if someone's got their telly on or, but it's making it impossible to well, well, I've got my telly on, but it's, it's sent down, man. <laughs> ain't me. <laughs> Hammer, how Hammer, you, you got the telly to? No, man. Okay, the sound's terrible today, lads. 
Alright. No, man. It's like, <laughs> okay, let's move you on. You know how to... it is, eh? Man, I'm an important person. Like... Alright, let's move on to Hammer. Let's... Hammer, how's it going at Forest in your new job? Oh, well, first of all, uh, not on Forest. Their old manager walked away. And then obviously I, I put my name forward and everyone thought it was right for me to uh, <coughs> step down and come down to the championship. So, what did you think? Did you think Forest. it was right? Uh, the whole point, I was, I, was, I was on a squad cap anyway. I was on the way down, had to sell quite a lot of players. Um, done what I thought I could do at Tottenham. Admittedly, I should have won the league, but... That's a different story. That's 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 past news now. Um, it was a bit gutting to be fair because I had to get I had to cut basically the whole squad, the whole squad. I I, I left them in a shambles. Let's just be fair. Like if you look at Tottenham and think of where I had, where I left them after what I had done for them in the first place. I mean Tottenham coming second in the league. He admittedly threw away the points and everything, but getting to a final in the same same season as well. I mean, people should have been thinking, but before they before they made decisions. But hey, not the forest. Here we are. So, but Hammer, then, and, uh, Hammer, why did you sign all the youth players when you agreed to the the vote, the squad fifty cap? Do you know what? Most of the time, I agreed to stuff because I think it's for the best of TFF. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think about personal gains or personal losses. I think, like, what's best for the game world. And having a squad cap is a really, really good, like, genius sure. move to have. Yeah. Because it stops it stops the big teams hogging for all sure. the players. And so, immediately, immediately I, was, I was looking to make small profits on players. But at the same time, I still see it as Tottenham, Tottenham are a team that's trying to challenge the big teams. And them small profits do add up. So, yeah, Hammer, the problem is, I I'm not trying to have a go at you, but those small profits which you tried to do have, en have ended up costing the club a lot of money because because yeah. you ended up selling players for CV that cost you a lot of money. And exactly. Ham yeah. Hammer, you went on sick. Them, them, them young prospects that you were signing, the new players added to the database were like, they were deadbeats, bruv. They were like... 62, 63 rated or whatever they were. They were nothing players, basically. You had yeah. nothing players. And you had like, it wasn't just like one or two. You're talking about, your, you're taking the whole squad cap for these whole players, man. You made a, that's where you made your huge mistake. That's where you fucked yourself. No, I think, I think, those, I think that huge mistake was when I didn't stick to my guns on having high rated players and thought I'd go youthful. For a change, that's that's where I fucked up. Oh yeah, get it right. That right. See if you kept your your original squad at the start of the game, where you, you I think you went about eighteen games unbeaten or something. You were about twenty points clear, top of the league. You could have won the league by 30, 40 points, easy. No one could have touched you. You should have stuck to your guns and done that, man. <laughs> you had some world class players. Yeah, hey. they were. Old. It doesn't matter. Jo then, justice got served, you know what I mean? Justice, justice got served, so... What, Nick? You, what, you Nick tried justice? it around, you, you saw everyone. You, obviously, you, obviously, no I'm puns sure. intended, no puns intended to the game world host and everything. He's a really good, he's a really good, generally a nice guy, so no puns intended, nothing, nothing against him, but justice definitely was served, weren't it? Uh, but Hammer, why did you let that happen? Why did you let that happen, bro? But you know what, mate, um... Do you know what? <laughs> I just enjoy managing teams, mate, and I think I'm doing a decent enough job at Nottingham Forest right now, so... Hammer, you could have set records. You could have set records. Records that will never be beaten again in TFF. You could have set records that will never be beaten again in TFF. And it doesn't matter what happens afterwards, because you would have set records. You would have won the league by 30, 40 points. Craig won the, the, the title last season. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't have got close to the title last season. Everyone makes mistakes. Someone's got so a bus going past them or something. Yeah, everyone that's makes mistakes. Johnny being outside. <laughs> no, that's great. That's Every, great. Everyone makes what mistakes, mate. Do you All know right, what? Right, I think I'm put. I, I think I'm putting a decent Northern Forest together yeah, anyway. Yeah, I mean, like Lewis Lewis Cook. Lewis Cook is a really decent little player. I did have him at Tottenham, 
and he was one of the players I caught. And as soon Mate, as I, I moved to Nottingham Forest, he literally was the first, 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 first player, first player I signed at Nottingham Forest. Of up and coming, and he's only 20 years old. He's already in 84. He's that English is. as well, so a bit of homegrown talent in the team. I now, mean, Cook, when he used to score wonder goals, 18 years old at Leeds United, man, 18 years old, he's just got wonder goals for us all the time. He's a magic player. Be oh. angry, but he's a good player. Okay, lads. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, I want to ask you one more question. Um, what's your target for Forest this season? Mate, I've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Need I say more? No. Well, yeah, I would like to say more. What's I'm, your target? I'm, I'm, got, I'm, got, I'm going for promotion. I'm, oh, I'm, going, I'm coming back. Like, I, I have to beat Tottenham next season. More than that. You would at the moment. And uh, uh, Hammer, that's a long shot by at the moment. That's a long shot you're going for. So Division Hammer, two is rivals hard. for this shit. Division two is hard. Who do you see as rivals? Rivals. Uh I'm I'm What's gonna that? probably say Swan Swansea, Derby and maybe Bournemouth are my what main rivals that? this season. Wow. Villa uh, as, as, Villa. As, um, Aston Villa, listen, like I, I don't want to get political, but inside, inside forward now he is a decent manager, but he's all talk, no action. He doesn't get nowhere. He says he's gonna do this and do that and doesn't. Do, it, over and over again, he's been proven wrong. I mean, I don't want to quote any other game worlds and everything, but there's a game world where he's Ajax and I'm fine with, and I beat him by eight points in the league. So. He he doesn't outdo me nowhere, and that that's an under twenty ones league and everything, and he still got outdone by me. So that that's fair enough. That's fair enough, man. That's okay, he enough. just ain't he just ain't up to the capability of managing in the best best league in TFF. Simple as that. I've heard that a couple of times about inside forward. I'm not gonna lie, inside forward needs to come on the panel show himself and defend himself. But I've heard that a couple of times about inside forward, man. I ain't gonna lie, I've heard it a couple of times. Ah, uh, I don't want to get listen. I don't want to get personal on people that are not here. Right, Hammer, we've done with you. Let's move on to Richie. Richie, how's things in Division 1? Tough. I ain't going to lie, mate. Tough. You made um, a good start, didn't you? Uh, is it a good start, though? Is it a good start? I no, mean, you, made, you, you, you won your first couple of games. and or you, you were up. Yeah, well, we've, had, we've had a couple of half-decent wins. A, 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 a lot of um, good draws against the mm. top teams. Mm. Then again, I don't think we've had a good start because I'm looking at the league table now. We're two points above the relegation zone. Yeah, but Richie, you've played all the big teams. We well, have, yeah, but you know, we we played Newcastle our last game. We drew against them. I mean, we've we've got a run now. Realistically, where we have to look where we've got to pick points up. Mm. But I mean, if we lose a couple of them games, a draw or whatever, we're banging a relegation fight, and I think that's where we're going to be. I mean, I don't. I'm not looking at this season thinking, yeah, we're in a safe position. We're in. I know we're in trouble this season. I put all my. I put all my faith in Buffon. I put Buffon, a well class keeper, and I thought, yeah, if we we sign Buffon, we'll be safe. Mm-hmm. But then I'm looking at Everton, who have got a 70 rating keeper, and then pulling out results against Liverpool. They're beating mm-hmm. Liverpool in that, and I'm thinking, is the goalkeeper such an important position? I mean, I'm learning things about the game. I mean, I'm I'm new. I'm not new to the game, but then again, I'm new to how some people have been playing. Some some of these people have been playing for like five, six years. I mean, I'm new to these people, mm-hmm. and I'm le- learning things as well. And I'm like, God, you've got a 95 keeper, but does mm-hmm. a keeper matter? You've got Everton with a 70 keeper. I don't know. I, I was wondering the same thing. Um, so, Richard. So now, panicking. You're saying 17th, you'll take that, would you? 100%. 110%. Right. Personally, I, we could finish lower. I'll tell you now, I don't care what anyone says well, after they watch this video, but I'll take 17th right now. Honest to God. Because I can put out an 11, I can put an 11 out that can beat most teams, and then they're knackered the next week. We've got absolutely no depth. I will take 17th now, right now. And. Uh, That's right. It's so tough. Division one is tough. At the end of the day, division one is tough. If you look at the the teams, there's mm. nothing. That, you look at all the the bottom teams and the top teams. There's not much between them. There's not much between no. them. No. They're all putting out teams that are averaging. Well, it's Maggie, Arsenal. Arsenal are away. We, you, you, uh, yeah, Arsenal, Liverpool, very strong first eleven. But other than that, the rest of them, anyone can beat anyone on the day. Yeah, when so, it comes to form right now in Division One, I mean, 
Tottenham's actually doing all right, mate. So don't be worried about that. When you look at the form table, like yeah. you yeah. should be where you are. Yeah, but how to starting eleven? All you've got to worry about is your starting eleven. If your starting eleven is decent, man, you you'll stay up easy. Yeah, but that the problem is, it, it's I can't play that same eleven every single game, and they get tired. Yeah, but well, you, then it, com- you then it comes to the you can in a way you can. Even if they drop down to like ninety five, ninety percent fitness, you can still play him. Right. I mean, you can you can you can make decisions like drop drop in the games that you don't really want to be battling, like wow. say Hammer, Arsenal, exactly Man City, Hammer. I can and then and now. then take take your team into the bit, to the games that you're easily gonna walk. I'm exactly gonna do that. So actually, the big boys that I don't think I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna put out my weakest team, and I'm gonna target games that I think are winnable. Um, Johnny, where do you think you'll get with Colster this year? Um, if I can keep on the form, then pff, playoffs maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that'd be a great achievement, by the way, Johnny. I am just literally taking it because I'm busy at work and stuff. Yeah. I'm just taking each game as it comes along, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just Fair enough. The mate. Old cleats. And what shirt are you wearing there? I'll find out all about other managers and teams as I go along, but. Johnny, what shirt you got on? <laughs> Hang on. Let me take it off. My jacket. Do you want me to do it? You see it? Yeah, what team's that? Uh, Can't you read it? No. Who is it? Is that Worcester City? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, cool. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. So we got Although Worcester. we haven't got... We don't actually play in Worcester anymore. We lost the ground a few years ago. Right, so you're based, <laughs> right, you're based in Worcester. Okay. So basically... You want to yeah, no, I've been in Worcester all my life, yeah. Fair enough. I, I support uh, the city. And Johnny, how long have you played soccer manager? Uh, joined up... Uh, mate got me on for it in May 2012. So you've been playing a while, you know what you're doing. Yeah, I've never been in game, well, I've been in a few game worlds, but none that are as fun as this one are turning out. Oh, you like TFF, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do, well, and NWR, I'm enjoying them all at the minute. Good man. Well, that's I've, good gone, to hear, I've, man. Gone, I've gone off Keith Fitzsimmons Irish League a bit at the moment, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, Johnny, is there anything in TFF you want to raise, or is there anything you feel strongly about, or are you just quite happy? Uh, I haven't had enough time to really raise any issues yet. Everyone seems to be getting along and talk about it. So well, I'm happy well, to Jeff, 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 Jeff. Hang on, lads. Sorry, Johnny, I can't hear you, mate. Sorry, mate. I said I just wish I had a bit of money to spend, that's all. On what? <laughs> Get a few money. Get a few players. There's a few players out there that I know are available that I'd like in the team. Yeah. Well, you, you, and I'm actually scared to get rid of any of the players you bought in because they all look like they're going to get in, in pieces and stuff. <laughs> so you're quite happy with the team I left you, Johnny? On the whole, I mean, you had Maxi Rodriguez and like that, who I've used in other game modes, so I know how to get a tune out of them normally. Well, I actually got him off Ricky. Who was the player you said there? Uh, Maxi Rodriguez, he he, he gives it. Oh fuck it! There's a few. There's a I few. I gave you a good tip there as well. Hmm. No, I was saying to Rob, I gave him a good deal there for Maxi. Mm. That was <laughs> that was uh, when I lost feet. Eunice, and uh, I got him in. But there's a few old defenders in there. We probably wouldn't but, have. But... Uh, Johnny, just one oh. thing: Do you prefer yep. managing smaller clubs rather than the big boys? Absolutely. Mm. I'm very much a get the underdog team in and I'll take anybody on really yeah so, jo- jo- I, don't even like, I don't even like buying big players over 92 93 usually no Johnny no. Johnny what about Coventry then what about Coventry why do you fancy Coventry <laughs> <laughs> I just don't I just don't like they're, they're awful in real life for God's sake I, I, he's trying I, to get a rise people... Johnny he wants you to upset Dom what's the beat the FA go <laughs> three go Johnny <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> didn't you fancy their team in TFF? Which team? Coventry. Yeah, didn't you fancy their team in TFF? Well, no. no <laughs> <laughs> fair play, well, fair play then, fair play. Holchester playing Worcester City kit anyway, so what more do I need? What more do you want? <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. coughs> Plus, I left Colchester in good hands. <laughs> well, <laughs> well Johnny, to be, Johnny, to be honest with you, the last uh, Coventry manager was a mug, so... <laughs> you, you're they're quite right. Nice, they're all 
but he did sign Trippier. Yeah. Oh, there's a train going past. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dumb though. That Tom didn't sign Trippier. Yeah. Right, no, Tom didn't sign Trippier. That was Sean Fitzpatrick who signed Trippier. Yeah, I think that was yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let, see, right, see, he quit now, there. No. Uh, lads, I want to ask uh, Johnny. You're relatively new to this, so you perhaps don't know all the ins and outs. Hammer, is there anything you want to raise in tonight's panel show? Right. Obviously, like a I few people have been be. making. A few, a few raises. I mean, one of them was uh, the last panel show. Obviously, we love people watching back on the other shows and everything. So, obviously, if anyone doesn't watch, then obviously the game world host Nick Justice kind of called me out and everything. And he was he he made a few remarks towards me. So I'm going to make a few remarks myself. Fair enough. Um, so first of all, when when T when TFF first came around, it was um. It wasn't even anything to do with us, as in hosting-wise. But obviously, it, it went a bit downhill and it went a bit sour because we had a few sour, sour grapes in like a really nice pond. And it feels like we've still got a few sour grapes in in this game world. And it's it's hard not to call names out. It's really hard not to call names out without people being able to defend themselves. But a lot, a lot of flack, a lot of flack gets taken by people that. Don't don't deserve to take the flack, and it's it's about time people start standing up and being like, Do you know what? Open your eyes, man. Yeah, but Hammer, it's what's your what's your point, mate? What, what is it you're trying to say? I'm just I'm just trying to say, mate. Like I I think I, th I think Nick, Nick needs to reevaluate needs to reevaluate who's got in his cell because there's a f there's a few people that which should, should he should be focusing his attention on. And I don't want to name call, so obviously. But Hamill, I don't know what you mean because didn't you and Nick get the people in together? I made a mistake. I let a few cheats in. <laughs> so you right? Okay. So you 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 felt there's a few cheats in TFF. And I still believe there's a few cheats in TFF. Right. Okay. And uh, that's. But then that surely that's you and Nick's responsibility, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, mate. But obviously, I've slacked a bit this season. Like, I, I was, I was really hard on help. Like, obviously, when, when this sale came around, I, I, I introduced like a YouTube, YouTube side of things and everything. And I, I've been slacking a lot more. Like, I've been slacking a lot. And I, I think I, it's about time I start, I start getting back onto the old YouTube, mate, and he helping TFF out again, mate, because. Immediately we have our panel shows, but it's it's nice for us to have that sit down and someone to be reviewing the whole league and everything. I mean, we've got the bongs, but the bongs are gone, and like we we don't have the reviews of the leagues really that much anymore. Immediately we have people coming on the panel show and talking about their team and who they think will rival them and everything. But I think TFF can still grow massively, massively, and like. With the with the right push of managers, I, I, I think we can we can all do something with this league. But immediately everyone's starting to look at their focus at other leagues at the same time. Like, but this this was the setup that brought us all together, and like we got we got we got to be a cl close knit. Like immediately we all have arguments and everything, but who don't? Like we're meant to be mates at the same time, and it's like backstabbing and everything. It's just got to stop. So, Hammer, I feel like you've made about 10 different points all merged into one. So I'll try and help you out there. The first thing is, uh, these panel shows are created because of you, Hammer, because you started the whole YouTube thing. So it's because of you that it then snowballed. Um, so, you know, fair play to you. But then what you were doing is you were talking mainly about Tottenham, and then you were sort of doing a bit about the rest of the league, and then Ben, ben and Cam... Ben and Cam were doing their bit, which was pretty good, actually. And the panel show is really more about the whole game world. And it isn't ra rather than an in... And anyone can come on the panel show, and talk, but a lot of people choose not to. But that that's up to them. Then the other bit... Then you've kind of gone on about... Uh, like the community's falling apart a bit, you feel. Yeah. You feel like, you feel no. like there's been that's arguments and things that. going on and... And, uh... I think there's more, been more than just a few arguments in the past few weeks. I mean, like, 
Mm. There's been a lot of a, a lot of sourness going around, and I mean, you you could tell that people are starting to get bored. Like, they're st- not even bored in the whole aspect. It's like people have actually genuinely came to me and been like, they don't understand why they even still were carrying on. They should. They feel like just walking away from SM because um, of all of these pathetic yeah. arguments that are all at, coming out of TFF. Yeah, I mean, Hammer, can you name names? Can you can you tell us who's feeling that? I don't, I don't think he could actually. If they've told him in confidence, I don't think he could. No, 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 fair play, Bev, yeah. Bev, yeah. But what Just I wanna... trying to understand where he's coming from. No, we'll... Don't worry, Richie, I'm... we'll come on to you in a sec. And, and... so, Hammer, I, I understand what you're saying, and there's people right, saying I mean, people... in private, oh, I've had enough of soccer manager, this is getting me down. That's not good. We've had a couple of people post in the news feed that they're, they're walking away, they've, we've, they've, we've had three or four people walk away from the Facebook group, which the last couple of weeks, there hasn't been any arguments, by the way. It's been very chilled there, I've got to say. But in the past, um, there has been arguments. There's, uh, is this inevitable? We've got 80, well, not 80 in the Facebook group, but we've got about 30 different personalities. We've got a lot of, it's, it's very competitive. As 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 it's, as it's expected to have arguments. I mean, you can't expect <laughs> us to go all year round. All of us being like, yeah, no. it's happy to everyone to be around. But at the same time, yeah. the way that it gets dragged on, like we're hearing about like the same argument like yeah. four weeks later, and it's like, oh, yeah, like, so, is, is that needed? Well, I think definitely at times a line we cross the line, and and it's up to individuals to look at themselves really. It, there isn't anyone. Nick Justice can't <coughs> control people's behaviour. We're all grown adults, so it's up to people to to concentrate on their self. <laughs> uh, yeah, the up- uprisings <laughs> begun against like the justice and everything. <laughs> got to hammer it home. Right, Johnny, you got women in the background. No, I got people walking by. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. We need a better. We need a better studio for you, Johnny. All right. I can go in the bike shed. <laughs> yeah, because that's not went, weird at all, is it? A grown man, a grown man with oh, a video bike. camera in a bike shed. In the Johnny, bike shed. Where are you tonight? <laughs> Johnny, where are you tonight? That's a nice bike, you know. To be oh, here we go. Right, Look, this, this, bike's had, this bike's had its front wheel bent. Can you see that? Johnny? God, blimey, it's like shit Johnny, top gear tonight. Johnny. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, mate. Where are you tonight, by the way? I'm outside the um, new library in Worcester. Oh, well. Uh, that's a perfect place to do a panel show, yeah. Mate, yeah. I can't get a signal at home. My signal is crap at home. I've got a bloke who works for the BBC next door who pinches all the, the, the broadband that side, and a blooming um, Chinese bloke next door who... He's big into computers there. No so discrimination from like the panel different. show. No, no discrimination. <laughs> it, it's like the bloke <laughs> from the BBC, <laughs> but obviously yeah. no discrimination. Not, like, Lad, you're not a bloke, at one. BBC. A bloke on the BBC, not a bloke with a BBC. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, there's a there's very different meanings there. Right, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, go I want to bring you in now. You heard what Hammer when, said. You, yeah. Is there anything you want to bring up tonight? Is this um, to do with TFF? Yeah. Well, yeah, unless you want to talk about antiques or gardens. Right, uh, well, <laughs> well, well, what I really wanted to talk about was uh, a couple of antiques that I've got in my basement. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> leave that, I'll leave that for another panel show. No, but to do with oh, TFF... Um, does why? Richie, hang on a minute. There is something really voice in the background. Whose voice is that? Were you lying for a lot? Because <laughs> that's not me. That's not me. Hammer, have you got people in the room? Yeah, man. Tell him to shut up. He's got his little elves. Man, 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 like, man like Rob calls you got, got a hush of gums in it. Yeah. I fucking knew it. Right, Richie, go. What? Right, as I was going to say, um... Well, well, TFF. Yeah, I've got no major problems with TFF. I, I love the game world. Um, recently, um, there was a, a disagreement between me and Roy Keane. They've got blown into something that I really shouldn't have. You and Roy Keane. Uh, uh, Hammer. 
I'm going to cut you off unless we get silence because it's too much interference, mate. <laughs> Go, Richie. Sorry, mate. Right, we're I sweet. Even <laughs> um, <laughs> as I was saying, um, yeah, there was a, a disagreement between me and Roy Keane that, that was blown on a news feed. And it got blown into something it shouldn't have. Um, you Roy and Roy Keane? Keane? Sorry, what? You and Roy Keane? No, no, I was saying, Roy, Roy Keane, um, he left another game belt. Oh, I see, right, okay. And, it, it got, like I was saying, it got blown into something it shouldn't have. He, he left another game well. I think, it, I personally think he used it as a scapegoat or whatever. And, um, a little spat came on the, on the main chat where uh, me and Nick jumped it. He wasn't happy with what I've done, which is fair enough. He's a game world owner. And I said to him, look, no, I don't, I'm not, not going to disrespect him. He's a game world owner. Game world owner. If he wants me to step away, I'll step aside. I'll be the game world on that. So, we it all out, basically. And... Uh... <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Right, Hammer, are we good now? <laughs> Every time. This is why. This is why. So, Hammer's uh, the same. <laughs> well, well, right. So we sorted it out. Um, so you and Roy Keane had a problem in another game. Where would you sort it out? No, no, no. We, we had it in TFF. The, the problem was on TFF, but Roy Keane actually left another game world because oh, of it. Right. He used me as a scapegoat, basically. That's yeah. how I see it. Oh. He used me as a scapegoat. And some people weren't too happy about that. They weren't too happy about him. They saw me as I shouldn't have started on him. Maybe, maybe in a perfect world I shouldn't have, but I've done what I've done. The reason I've done it was because I think big clubs should do more to help little clubs. Oh yeah. I look at yeah. well, I look at teams like TFF, like teams like Chelsea, Liverpool. Not just them, um, all the big clubs, any big club in TFF, and I think they have um, budgets to bring in the best players in oh. terms of the, the first <laughs> players. And I've got a personal opinion that they should help the, the lower league clubs, basically. Not everyone will agree with me. We'll have had panel shows where people have disagreed with me, so I respect that. And I respect that I may be one of the few that actually thinks these ways. But um, I think when you, you're a team like Chelsea, for example, and you've got that, you, you start off with the best budget in the game world. City as well, City as well, City and Chelsea. And you can bring in the best first team players and second team players. And you, um, you bring your squads and basically... And I think for the second for the second season, you should have players like youth players or whatever that you can loan out to the lower league clubs. See if you're if you haven't got them cut time for players, if you're just bringing in players that you can just bring in to strengthen your 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 first team, then I think personally that's a bit selfish. I've been in all the threes, and I've there's a few managers in um, TFF or. Or in order freeze as well, and yeah. I see that the way Gary rolls in that game, and he he loans out every season a hundred million pounds worth of players at least every season. And I tell you what, all these all these managers that are saying now that oh, look out for yourself, you should be watching out for number one. They're the first people that are knocking on his door for loans. To, uh, yeah, loan yes. player, the player. Yeah. It works both ways. You've got to understand yeah. both ways. Thanks, and I don't Richie. want to. Yeah, no, you've made it. It's a good point. I want, Hammers wants to add something to that. Go on, Hammers. Obviously, like, on the whole subject of loans, now, big teams, yeah, in per se, should be loaning out players, but at the you, same time, Hammer, it does do come down to a manager. Hammer. I, I wouldn't say I agree per se. I would say I agree with some of the statements, but... At the same time, you've got to understand that a manager makes his own decision. If you don't want to loan players out, he doesn't have to. No, 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 100% agree with you. No, I'm not saying that my way is right. I know that managers 
are free to manage clubs how they want. But I'm just saying my personal preference is they should help out lower clubs. I think I think a manager in the top position, if he's blessed enough to bring in all these top players, and he should be blessed enough to help out some the low league clubs. Because I've managed bearing, lower bearing in mind, like, bearing in mind, ninety percent of my team last season at top. Bearing in mind, ninety percent of my team last season at Tottenham was out on loan. I do agree with some of your statements, as I said. Hammer, Hammer, I was the only. You know, manager of the season award. Who was the only one that even voted you for manager of the season? Me. And, and why? And, and where where did you get that I idea had... from? A manager that flops from that much doesn't deserve to be manager of the no, season. No, 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 no. Yeah, but why was the only reason that? Yeah, I know you flopped, but why was the only reason I managed? I voted you for manager of the season was because you, what you've done for the game world because you managed because you loaned out so many players to the game world and I respected that and I thought yeah damn right he's important to the game world for that reason All right, Johnny, no, one what else did. no one else did Hammer I did I can't really speak for that one but I can speak for my Bly Spartans team in the Justice League can't I because yeah. basically everybody's helped me out on there by letting me sign a few players that they were bidding at the same time as me for yeah. and they've backed out and also I've had three quality loans off um, <coughs> Liverpool, I think it is is it three off Liverpool I can't remember now Not sure. anyway they've, and they've all they've all private messaged me and said look just to we want you to get a decent footing in this league and good luck having a smaller team and stuff. So, yeah, well, this is a good thing. I can't really speak for the other one because I'm not no, in the 3-3. Three, three, you can so. speak generally and you manage smaller teams, so you, you know how difficult it is That's without it. the loans. I mean, ideally, I tend to try and I, I generally seek a little bit of help to begin with, and then uh, after a season, I try and stand on my own two feet. With try and be self sufficient, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made, this, I've made this clear all along that I, I got Colchester promoted last year and, and it was mainly, well, not one of the reasons was the use of loans. And there's no shame in that, but it's, you know. Of course um, not. But it, it, well, it's, they're the spine of the team. Those three loans at Colchester are the spine of the team. And they well, were well, last they're... year. I had Unit and I had uh, Gabamin and I had, um, I can't remember the other one, but I had three good ones last year and again the same this year. Yeah, I still can't that. believe the one I managed to get off of Man City. I mean, getting getting an 87 right back off of Man City, like, that was a steal and well, a half getting him on. Craig, Craig's pretty good for that. Well, what I want to what I want to say as well is, um, for example, you you look at Man City now and TFF, and you look at Chelsea, for example. Two uh, the, that is, in my opinion, the two biggest clubs that you could start with, and Man City of I don't know the exact stats but i mean they've got like 10 or 15 players loaned that they're worth about 50 to 100 million and chelsea got nothing like that that was my argument it was like the big club should be doing more well they should be holding those players should be but i mean it's it's a matter of opinion i'm not saying that they i'm not saying that fucking um i don't like people who hoard players to be fair well, that won't squad, happen. Yeah. squad cap yeah. of 45 or 50. Now, Johnny, any good game world will prevent that. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's, a, that's a given. You know, I've seen teams with 300 players. and um... I don't know if I, I, I... To be honest with you, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if, I, if I'm wrong thinking this because, to You're be honest, wrong, no one else seems to agree with me. Is it, I seem to be fighting the losing battle, thinking this. No, Richie, let me tell you now. I agree with you, but I don't care. Um, and I'll tell you, for, I don't mean that in a bad way. I care about other things more. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I see your point that the that... game world needs to flow. But for me, this yeah. is not the biggest fish to fry. The biggest fish to fry before anything is I mean... you've got what you've got everybody who's honest and playing the game properly. If you've got cheats and multiple counts and fakes, then every oh, other cool. issue in that game world, for me, is second. And Because otherwise, the whole thing becomes a farce. True, true. So that's where I stand on that. So although I agree with you, Richie, I'm not, I wouldn't, it's not something I'm passionate about. My passion is somewhere else. And I, so Rob, that's that's where we differ. I know, I know you've got your own things that you're passionate about, but this is personally something I'm passionate about. I, I just... I just feel that the the big clubs should be doing more to 
to help the lower league. And you know what, Richie? In other game worlds, I would be more inclined to be with you because in other game worlds, like top 100 and maybe one or two others, there are no cheats or multiple counts. So everything that I'm fighting for now would be redundant. Yeah. So Yeah, I know. Now, I messaged 20 managers this week. I did sell Nick Justice. I messaged 20 managers that are quiet or I don't know a lot about, and about 10 got back to me. So, I think I think one got back to me saying that he was. I think it's the Bury manager or something. Said well, he well, was going to jump well, on the face. Well, Rob, to be honest, it's a bit worrying, isn't it? It's a bit fucking worrying. Yeah, I'm, there's one particular manager in Division Two that I think's a bit of an asshole, but I'm not going to name him. But he knows who he is, and uh, I've sent him messages. He ignores me. me? And um, well, I'm, Rob, maybe maybe you should name him because no, maybe I don't, because this I haven't got any need. proof whatsoever, and I don't think he's an out and out cheat, but I don't think he's a particularly good guy. Uh, I think we need to bring out to your attention. I think we need to start naming, shaming people that that we're, we're not. 100%. Is it? Is it? This is what is, 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 is it? Is it? Is it this Fulham guy? No, it's not. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to name him because I'll deal directly with people. I don't need to come on a panel show and slack people off. But there's one person in particular. I've sent them a few messages and they never reply. Now people watching well, this, people watching this might say, "Rob, get the message. You just don't like it." Fair enough. I couldn't give a message. <coughs> But if someone has the good grace to send you a message, you know, show a bit of dignity in class and reply, even just to say, leave me alone. But the um... but Rob, I don't think these people even watch the panel show to start with. That's that's the worrying thing. I don't think they yeah, watch, watch, watch it do, long some enough. Some do, some don't. Some do, some don't. I'm, there's a few quieter managers that do watch the panel show and they tell me they enjoy it. But but this particular manager is an active manager. He's not a quiet person. He's uh, usually bumping his gums about the latest riser he's got. But uh, I think, uh, Rob, I think I know you're talking about. That. I think I know you're talking. About. Well, we'll leave it there. Oh no! I'm not very there we go. Yet. Okay. So, uh, lads, I've got nothing else to add today. Um, is anyone got anything they want to add? Just want to send my uh, ha happy Christmas to Derby oh, yeah. and everything. <laughs> the Christmas panel show. What a miserable bunch of guests we are. <laughs> happy Christmas, everyone. Like, like, not one of look, we're all moaning. I think two days yeah. before Christmas, like a bunch of old ladies again. But yeah, Johnny, <laughs> I've got to say, I don't know if you're too young to remember this, but with that hat on in the corner, you look like Tommy Cooper, the old comedian. It is. It's even got the little black bit on it. Yeah. You, oh, you do know what I mean then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he had a, he had a, fa you, you, Hammer, you're far too young, but there, there was a famous comedian in the 70s and 80s called Tommy Cooper. He died on stage. He died on stage. <laughs> he actually, Johnny, he Johnny's not that young. He looks about 70 years old himself. Fucking <laughs> 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 Poor old Johnny. How old are you, Johnny, out of interest? 30 something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. Oh, fair enough. Same age I'm, you still, you, I'm still playing football four nights a week. Oh, well, you're doing better than I am. Yeah. Hammy, you're the baby of this group. Hey, mate, mate, mate. I'm on the wrong side of 20 now. It's getting downhill. Although I think, I think the youngest are Coles and Mark. I, th I think they're the youngest. Well, well, Rob, I've got one thing to add. I was going in. I thought you might. It was um, a comment made by a certain person. Who? Well, I would just say Kev. <laughs> Kevin. Thanks, no, uh, you might as well... Might as well bring it up, uh, Kev. Uh, I had a disagreement with someone um, at the time. I didn't know the name. It was uh, Glenn, the Chelsea manager. Oh yeah, yeah. But at the time, uh, the, for, for me, he was Jose Mourinho. Mm -hmm. I didn't know his real name. No. And um, we had a disagreement. Mm -hmm. Jose said something to me that <laughs> spot basically. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to, to to roll up or anything, but. He said something that sparked me up. He said something about me having big mm. nuts or something, and it, it pissed me off. Well, it's a compliment, if anything. <laughs> well, my nuts are small. That's why I got offended. <laughs> I he said I've got big nuts, but my nuts are small. That's why I got offended. Yeah. But anyway, How dare he? Kev jumped in mm. on the on the the comment thread that was that was going. <laughs> And he said, I, I was the reason that um, TFF, were, TFF was dying down. Uh, TFF was shit and that. Mm. Um, you'll know yourself what the comment was. 
And uh, I took personal offence to that because my Glenn basically said to me was something about um, oh what's uh, Richie saying um, trying to pipe up or something. And for me at the time was this was a fake name account talking to me like um, I mean I'll, I'll do the panel shows I'll I'll get in I'll get involved in anything that's got to do with the interactive part. And this is a manager that doesn't do them things, mm. and he wouldn't even give his real name. I know, mm. but I know he does now. But at the time, he never. No. So I took personal offence to that, and yes, I did overreact to it. So Kev jumped in, and he said to me that I was the reason that TFF was such a bad game world now. So but, it was but dying. Richie, I, I brought that comment up last week, and I, I addressed it myself. And um, you know, and Kev will get his chance to come on and. At some point, if he wants, but but I had but, but, but Rob, I took personal offence to that. I thought I thought that was a bit harsh. I thought that was really a bit harsh. More so because me and Glenn, I know his name's Glenn now, but I didn't know at the time. But we sorted it out within five minutes. Yeah, and yeah. For him to say that I'm the reason that TFF's gone downhill and <laughs> this is the reason the game is dying and that, I thought that was really offensive. I thought that was really offensive. <laughs> Johnny, well, that was just... point here. Johnny's getting his... Sorry, sorry. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. It's my little owl. <laughs> the, yeah, Johnny, on, listen. Johnny, there's nothing strange whatsoever about a grown man outside Wisp the Library on a mobile phone <laughs> yeah, no. talking to strangers on a Skype about a made-up football game waving an owl about. There's nothing strange he's, about that. He's going, to get, he's going to get arrested. He's going to get arrested. He's going to get his door arrested. <laughs> The police agent. <laughs> I've got CCTV as well. I don't want it. any connection to him. I don't want any connection to him. <laughs> I think there's uh, a few cannabis going around here as well. Oh, well, you've got Hammer on the other side. Where? 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 Oh, Worcester, did he say? Worcester, that's near Berman, a minute. Yeah, I know where Worcester is. Cannabis crime. Right. Don't say that. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm going to wrap it up. Richie, I just want to say one thing on that. Um, Kev will come on at some point and give his point, but to be honest, the, hopefully the Facebook group was meant to absorb all the crap and, and we don't get any nonsense on the news feed because no one wants to see, see all that. Really. That's not me. That's not me. What is that? It's vibrator, isn't it? So, right, somebody's having a good time. I don't know who it is. I, I apologise to everyone who's watching because I'm really not sure about this week and the sound quality and all the rest of it. Um, no. this, this is the worst panel show that you'll ever see. This yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Richie, I agree with this, but at least we did wish everyone happy <laughs> Christmas. Richie, how many beers you had? <laughs> I'm on my lap, my second. I'm on my second. I'm second still one, sober. Second <laughs> what, yeah, is that second. the second since 10 a.m.? I've still, so I've still got so right, much I want to say. I've still got so much I want to say. I want another to you, panel Hammer. show. Thanks, Hammer. See you later, mate. See you later. See you, Hammer. Well, I'm just seeing if that improves the sound quality. Stay there a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start a new panel show then. We'll start right, a new panel show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think, uh, look, we're nearly up to an hour. Poor old Johnny's in the freezing cold. Johnny, big respect to you. You're standing there in the freezing cold, mate. You get home or wherever you go. It's not that bad. All right, where are you off to now? probably go home and have dinner <laughs> well that makes sense all right mate well listen come on another time and we'll, i'll get a third person who hasn't got yeah that's lovely <laughs> it's got a little flashy eyes man johnny you're exactly how i thought you would be i'm just crazy mate yeah <laughs> all right mate I've got some respect. A bike behind you. Yeah, and there's someone nicking a bike in the background. Someone's stealing his bike in the background. Someone's stealing his bike. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I think it's Moe Farrow. Is that your star striker? She recorded the police. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Was Look that his bike? She recorded she record the police? He's probably nicked the one with the wobbly wheel. <laughs> Is that your bike? <laughs> I don't mind, mate. I do leave mine in there sometimes, but... It's dodgy. <laughs> my, I ain't leaving my two grand bike in there. No, two grand, eh? Right then, Richie. Anything else? Because we can hear you better now, mate. Hey, hey uh, what's the um, what's the Man U Leicester score at the minute? <laughs> <laughs> they got fucked. I don't know. I'll wait off and find out. They got fucked. 
No, no, but basically, my my last point was about um, Kev. I, I thought you and Kev used to be friends. No, <laughs> we, we still are. I, I ain't got a problem with Kev. Good. I just I've got a problem with his last comment. That's that's all. The problem is, Richie, you and Kev are big personalities, and both give a lot to TFF. And unfortunately, it seems all the big personalities are all falling out, which is a bad thing. No one will win from that. To, to be honest with you, Rob, my my, my problems aren't with Kev. Um, my problems are I just want a, a bit of time away from the the Facebook group and that. Yeah, but I do have both, one problem. Both with you and Kev have come out. What was his last comment? I thought his last comment was a bit harsh about because it was, I think it was personally directed at me about um, because I had a go at Glenn and he came out and said, "Oh, I know who looks like my Muppets and that." Um, and I think that was a bit harsh. I think that was really a bit harsh. It was, but Richie, Saying, I, I, I think in yeah, the game. Though. Richie, I think Kev looks at it from his point of view. He's not on today, but from his perspective, he's probably fed up of all the arguing, the rowing. And he's probably fed up with all the some of the stuff on the news feed. And I know, because Kev's told me, that there's a few managers, I don't know who they are, there's a few managers in TFF that um, message Kev and don't like what they see in terms of either the Facebook group or the news feed. And they feel that maybe, they haven't named names, but certain characters are toxic and bringing the game world down. But, uh, but Rob, that's it. I think there's a lot of uh, I think there's a lot of backstabbing that's going on at the moment. I think there's a lot of um, devious backstabbing. I think there's a lot of things that are going on, but no one's talking about what's going on. I think it's little circles that are getting created. It's, yeah, there's. It's some, I don't know about that, Richie. There's people, yeah. people message each other. And that goes on, but. But to be honest, mate, it's just a game, isn't it? We're just playing for fun. We're meant to be. Exactly. No, no, exactly. And I, I, I feel that way as well. I feel, I feel sometimes we just we blow these small things out of proportion. It's like we're yeah. all grown men and we're playing this game and it's we should be having. It's not like we we blow these things into be fucking world war kind oh, of it's... scenarios, but they're little it's... tiny problems. They are. They are. Yeah, but my, my only problem was well, what, Kev, what Kev came out and said about the news feed. And mm. I think um, he shouldn't have done that. Because I had a problem with Glenn, and I think he should have he should have kept out of it. He should because have done, but he didn't. And we all, we all... He had no reason to get involved. But, Richie... but what he actually said was offensive. Because he said I was the problem that was why TFF is going downhill, why TFF is... Is on its last legs, basically. I never thought that for one second because TFF is stronger than ever. I never thought that for one second. Yeah, well, and I thought, I well, that. why would you say that? He had no right to say that. Well, like I said he that last week. TFF is, is stronger than ever. But, Richie, we've got to be fair, mate. You made a comment tonight and you brought up something that was finished three days ago. Oh, uh, the thing about Lewis? Yeah. Well, that's another thing I felt a bit strongly about because I think... I know, well, if we look at the of you, I think if you look at um, the Collis and uh, Lewis, mm. they've been going at each other for weeks and weeks. I mean, we, we've Rob, we've both been in the the, the Facebook group and that uh, we've seen them go at each other. Yeah. And suddenly, Collis has gone in the news feed and said about um, blowing up about he's going to leave the game world and that a bit of a re -over overreaction. Massive, Richie. But but the thing is, mate, when people comment on it. It adds to it. It doesn't. You but, know, it's better off. but what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong, in my opinion. And um, you had you had people comment on it now. They said, "Oh, uh, to Lewis, turn on Lewis, or what have you done that?" And I think that's a bit biased. I think that's a bit that's a bit harsh because you got two people going at each other. It's like Rob. It's like me and you right now. Mm. So me and you go at each other with a banter, mm. and I'll go on the news feed mm. and I'll say, "Right, mm. I'm leaving TFF." Mm. Rob's pissed me off. He said something. He's pissed me yeah. off. Yeah. And people comment and they say, "Right, oh, but he, he, you're doing the right thing. Doing the right thing." Rob, what's the difference? What is the difference? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? It is, but there's three things. Three people throwing each other, Richie, and you've got people picking sides. There's three things. You've got First, people picking sides, basically. Firstly, uh, people posting for attention. Then people commenting, adding to that attention. And then thirdly, when the <coughs> conversation's all dead and buried, and people then adding to it and bringing it up again, and it's just... It's, it's, a it's nonsense. all to do with the agenda, Rob. It's all to do with the agenda. Mm. It was an original agenda. Call us... 
was the original party they wanted to leave, then you had people commenting saying that uh -huh. playing on that agenda, uh -huh. uh, and then suddenly oh, you've got the whole game will turn on uh, Lewis. That's the reason I commented for. Right. To make it, basically speaking aside, thinking, well, that, that's put a bit of perspective for it. But I'm that's just thinking. Right, what about right. the guys that play Soccer M, log on and seal that, and they're not involved in any of the active stuff? They must think, what a bunch of twats we all are. That, that, that's, the, that's the difference, because they're not in the Facebook group. They don't see what goes goes in and out. That's why I don't like the Facebook group. That's why I'm not in there anymore. That's no. why the Facebook group, to me, is a bit of poison. That's that's a bit of poison. It wasn't to people begin with. It was a friendly was group of about eight, nine lads. You were in it from the original. And it was all very, very light-hearted. But as it grew bigger it's and it turned, bigger... It turns. Mm. Uh, Do you know why it turned? Because there's just personality classes. classes. But, but lately it's been pretty cool. Classes. Just there's people that don't like each other, basically. No, that's, that's true. It's the same in real life. I mean, if you don't like someone in real life, you don't want to be around them. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if yeah. you're all football well, when fans, you're in the group it's chat, it's, it's impossible not to be a random because you're in the group chat. You've got to read what they say. You've got to read what they do. It's real life, basically. It's like people don't get on. No, that's, that's true. the way the world works. Johnny, did you want to say that's something? The way the works as well. You're Johnny, not going to uh, get four managers and get on. It's, how can I put it? We've all been on football forums, and we it should be a bit like that banter. Yeah, there should be more. Why if we're all like me, yeah, the world would be a happier place, I suppose. <laughs> so why is TFS so ridiculous then? Why? Why is it? Is it? What's happened? Is it my fault for these panel shows? No, 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 no. no. I think I think the gold, I think one of the golden rules in football forums needs to be sort of imp, uh, implemented on here, and that's not to get too personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one of the golden rules. If you don't keep if you keep it just light and easy, and thingy, then you just, things tend to tick along. But you still, even on football forums, you still get people in their little clicky groups where they know each other's humour, and you get little side parts. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been on yeah. all sorts of different football forums, so, and I tend to get on with them. A bit. <laughs> I mean, I can say, look, I have all, everyone in TFF. <coughs> I'll probably get on with Richie the best. And I'm, I'm, what I'm doing tonight, Richie, is I'm playing devil's advocate because other people are not here. Uh, no, I, 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 I appreciate that. I want you to do that. We do that. So I'm presenting the other side because I don't want, I don't want us to be robbing his gang, slagging off everybody. That, because there yeah. are people in TFF who think I'm running a little racket or something, and I'm not. I don't speak for anybody. <laughs> the actual weird well, thing is, we hardly ever bring real life football into it. It's yeah. quite weird. But, yeah. but I think we have. To, but I think we have to understand that is this. There's kind of teams forming there, groups forming there. People don't get on. We don't all get on. Let's not pretend. We don't all get on. We're not all going to be best friends. Well, look at and the way me and you get on. <laughs> you push us all together, and it's not going to work. Work. You push us all together. We're not all going to be a happy group, and that is. People are rebelling against it, and that is. Just, just a lot of hate. I think there's a lot of hate in TFF, and I think that doesn't get talked about enough. And I think that's wow. a major problem. I think that's a major problem. I'm not talking about me personally. No, I'm no, thinking no. about the, the group personally. I think there's a lot of dislike and a lot of hate. And in, uh, that's, that's, I know. Hate's a bit strong. Hate's a bit strong. What can we do uh, to bring it back? Johnny, I, I think hate's a I, Johnny. I think hate's a perfect word for it. We like. Because Johnny, trust me. Looking at some of the, looking at some, I'm uh, looking at some of the. If you were to push us all together, there's some real hate there, Johnny. There's, there's some real hate. I don't know. I think we, I think, we, I think we're, um, I think we're quick to make judgments and stereotype people. Yeah, just, I'm not judging anyone or anything. But I'm just saying. No, no, I'm saying people don't off. get on. People don't get on. I mean, there's people I don't get on with. This Rob, there'll be people you don't get on with. Johnny as well. There'll be people you don't like. I mean, it's normal. It's, it's a normal part of life. It doesn't matter. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a normal part of life. But we will be pushed together in a Facebook group or whatever. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Idea. Is the Facebook group very different to the uh, Messenger group? They're both the same. The same thing, is it? Both the same. 
That's what. Oh, that's I, what thought, not the, I thought there was an actual group on Facebook as well as Messenger. Well, it is. No, that's the same thing, then. Yeah. Well, fair. I just haven't been on the Facebook side of it. That, that, You've been on both sides of it. You're on both the groups, man. You're gonna make calls. You're gonna make calls of the problems. You need <laughs> your fucking gifts twenty four seven. Yeah. You're gonna make calls of the problems, Johnny. Johnny Giff and your sidekick Keith. You two. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a certain, there's a certain somebody who pushed me into all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, lads. I'm gonna leave it there. There's a little. It will take there's a little to pull. upload, mate. There's no, a little. Pull. A piss, there's anyway. a little. Portuguese corner that sort of gets wound up far too easily. <laughs> um, uh, that, that's uh, Dom. He's Dom. He's Dom. Dom. Johnny. That's Johnny. Johnny. No, Louis. 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 Who are you? <laughs> Louis, I'm talking about. You, yeah, you, I you love like Louis. <laughs> oh, no, mate, you don't want to mention him. Oh, mate, you're, you're, you're pretty well. What? Yeah. Don't mention Louis's him. A, Louis's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> that is a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, range to be seen if you come on or not. You keep saying that. <laughs> All right, lads, we're just waffling now. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Merry Christmas, TFF. See you later. <laughs> Love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>